Okay, podcast starts now. What's up, everybody, and welcome to a, a special edition a special of Stradio Lab called Gadio Lab. That's right. <laughs> Today we are uplifting the LGBTQ plus and talking about gay culture. Stradio Lab presents Gadio Lab, presented by Big Money Players, presented by iHeartMedia. Wow. <laughs> When we were approached to do Gadio Lab by iHeartMedia, yeah. at first we weren't sure because we were sort of like our whole brand is straight. Straight culture. Straight culture. Yeah, and unpacking it. I don't even know. And we've spent years researching it in libraries. Yeah. Private institutions. Of course. They cost um, a lot of money they, to join. Yeah, like, you know, the sort of military-funded conservative <laughs> research institutions that you hear about that are primarily, yeah. like, for the military. Mm-hmm. They do fund some humanities and social sciences research, and that's sort of where we come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And whenever we would go to those places, there would never be a gay section. So we were like, well, where do we even begin? <laughs> yeah, and, you know, people started to get mad at us. Yeah. Um, you know, because we just shone the spotlight so brightly on straight culture. And it was blinding. It was blinding, and it was, you know, people started to say, hey... Like, you know, yeah. there's other culture out there. Right. Like you can shine an overhead spotlight on straight culture, but maybe once in a while, just a little vintage lamp, just a little <laughs> a little sconce that's just for gay culture. Maybe yeah. once every few years. It could be tasteful. Yeah. And we said, you know what? Sure. Why the fuck not? Throw them a bone. <laughs> They're going through a lot this year. You know what? With um, multiple companies not doing pride campaigns and all. Wait. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually like really important. <laughs> Basically, in the past, everyone has done a pride campaign, so it's been hack. Yeah. This year, it's actually indie to do a pride campaign because the big companies are not doing them. It's it's become indie to do pride. Yeah, and actually, it's like I'm like, you know, we both have so much old material, old jokes that are like making fun of corporate pride. And it's like you can't say that anymore you? because now it's like make that's like making fun of you know sky ferreira like that's <laughs> like you're making fun of indie artists when you're making fun of corporate pride now pride going indie it's sort of it is sky ferreira it is how pop has gone indie exactly now now pop girls are indie girls 100 percent, and therefore they are pride right so pride <laughs> used to be Katy perry yeah and now it's caroline polachek exactly Exactly. And so you see, you know, you'll see a parade and it'll be like, oh, I don't know, a, a float that's Eckhaus Lada, a float that's, um, you know, an independent record label, mm -hmm. um, a float that is a mom and pop pottery store, even. <laughs> All the floats are indie things <laughs> yeah. rather than a Target, Starbucks. And so we thought, well, now's a better, t a better yeah. time than ever to cash we, in. We thought, well, we're indie. Yeah, we're indie. And yeah, we're and, yeah we're yeah. indie coming from the iHeart station in Midtown Manhattan. Right. That's still indie. Yeah, which is owned by Lockheed Martin. But <laughs> this like, is literally the CBGBs of today. <laughs> <laughs> but we're sort of like when a big company has like a small team, and they're like, "Well, that's a we, that's more of a startup environment. Like you guys just like we want you to play. Like you yes. have our own. There's like a little everyone sits on a, a a ball rather than an office chair, and there's ping pong and kombucha. Yeah, that's what we are. And yeah, there's Taco Tuesdays, <laughs> and there are vegan options. Who cares? Get Whatever. Over it. Whatever. We're still indie. So <laughs> I guess. I guess that's sort of a good context for today. I don't yeah. want to put you on the spot, but this was, you immediately jumped on, this was your passion project. To be fair, I've been pushing this idea for years. Yeah, <laughs> you've been pushing this idea for years. Honestly, from like when we started, you were like, you know, it would be funny, we haven't recorded a single episode, you know, it would be funny if like year four, we did Gadio Lab, where we do a gay topic. I actually do think it will be funny, and I stand by it. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I, Anytime there's sort of a, a flip yeah. where it's like, you know, the sitcom, suddenly it's about the, the secondary character. I a love bottle that. episode. This is sort of a bottle episode. Even, yeah. And I love that. So I think that's sort of what I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. And if it flops, I want to say it's not my fault. No, um, it's iHeart's fault. <laughs> it's iHeart. Because they asked for it. <laughs> and I pushed for it. Um, so, yeah. So basically uh, that's the... The fantasy. I think that's the fantasy. You know, I also want to say I'm in a sort of place right now where I am pounding the Joan Didion alarm in the sense that I am needing to tell myself stories in order to live. Uh -huh. Because, you know, when you have nothing in your own life that is interesting enough to really lead with mm. and you're like, well, this is where fiction comes in. 
So I am in the mood to be in a heightened reality. I'm in the mood to be in full costume on a stage. And I'm in the mood to get a little crazy. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm trying to think if I'm in the same mood or yeah. not. I think I'm in like a mood that's like... You're more grounded? I'm a little more grounded. Okay. But also have nothing to show for it. Sure. Like, if it were like... Like, I don't have like a fun story to tell. You're mumblecore. <laughs> I'm slice of life. You're a slice of life mumblecore. You know what I am? I'm sort of like the musical episode of Buffy. Like, oh, uh, they're like, we don't have anything to say, so let's play exactly. Wow. That's exactly how I am. I'm like, I if only I could break into song. Damn. But I can't. But you can't. So should we bring in our guest? You know what I think? <laughs> well, you know when we decided to do Gay Do Lab, I there are very few guests that we could have asked to do yeah. this. I mean, we were honestly struggling. Um, locating one that would be perfect for it. Mm -hmm. But the thing with our guests is that, like, I would say she is the perfect um, Venn diagram between Straight Your Lab and Gay Your Lab. <laughs> and that, on the one hand, she is a straight woman. On the other hand, she is Yas Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say that she is perfectly in the middle of the Venn diagram. Exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so... <laughs> Without further ado, please welcome the perfect mm. guest, Macy, Macy Rodman. Rodman. Hi. Hi, Hi Macy. <laughs> I love this Venn diagram. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, do you? It's, yeah. A sort of, it's a sort of like, it's like Kylie Minogue. Like, yeah. yeah. No, and yeah. we did ask her first. We did. Um, I figured. Oh, well, we spoke earlier. <laughs> she, yeah, yeah. she couldn't do it. She yeah. Was, so she said, those faggots. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> accent work comes back. Thanks. Yeah, 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 Amazing. yeah. That was spot on. Thank that was so my yeah, 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 We're very to close. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I'm excited about Pride this year. I'm yeah, thank I'm, you. I'm trying to decide whether I'll be on the Lucy Dacus float or <laughs> the Noah Baumbach float. Oh, the Noah Baumbach float is really good it's this gonna year. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah, I, know. I heard um, Maggie Gyllenhaal might be on. Yes. <laughs> Chloe <laughs> Sevigny, Parker Posey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood Orange. Blood Orange. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's just smoking little cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smoking little cigarettes. <laughs> It'll be great. Um, Hari Neff. <laughs> um, Rachel Sennett. Rachel Rachel Sennett, oh, Rachel Sennett, yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah. Rachel um, huge on the Pride Circuit. Yeah, huge on the Pride Circuit. <laughs> um, no, the Noah Baumbach float is actually, I, if anything, he's queer baiting a little too much, I would say. Yeah, yeah well, Greta yeah. can't be there. Greta she's can't too be there. corporate. That's the thing. Oh yeah. my God, that's, that's true. The thing. She's, she's not that, doing Pride anymore. Who would have thought over. that would ever happen? I know. Greta is doing, Barbie, Greta's like, Barbie is straight. I don't want to be part of the gay narrative. <laughs> exactly, exactly. She's, well, ever, she's like, ever heard of... Bumping them together? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not gay. Wow. So the Noah Baumbach float. Um, I'm trying to think what uh, what floats were we asked to be on this year at Pride? I'm like, oh my God, you're making me riff. No, no, no. <laughs> oh no, no, he's no. making me riff. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, George, I'm going to be honest. Indie <laughs> cinema, oh, that's not where I riff the best. We were asked to be in the BAM, Brooklyn Academy of Music. <gasps> oh, that's Flo. an honor. That's, that's an, an honor, honor, truly. And so it's us and the cast of <laughs> Women Talking. <laughs> <laughs> the only film that has been playing at BAM for the past 16 months. Yes, It's yes, just yes. a constant stream of women talking, women talking, women talking. Well, that's right behind the A Doll's House Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So the Adal's house float is just Jessica Chastain going around and round in a circle. Yeah, she walks out of the theater and then just walks yeah. through Pride. <laughs> just stone faced in character the with whole the time. With the mic taped with the mic taped face. to the side of her face. So that'll be fun. Yeah, I do think it's weird that like the community is backlash against Phoebe Bridger's float. Like, yeah, I know they're like she's too big, she's too big. She's a Greta like, Gerwig type. It's tough figure. though. Yeah. yeah, it's like she was there. Yeah. Uh, not long ago. Not long, long, ago. Ago. long ago. And without her, there couldn't be a BAM float or a I mean, if, back float. if she's not right. allowed to march in the parade, like, look around. Like, yeah. are we? Like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get invited to two Gucci events, and suddenly you're not indie. Suddenly you're Target. <laughs> That's I why know. we say I RSVP, no, no, no. To Bottega Veneta, every... Yes. every corporate every sponsored event that I'm invited to and honey there are many yes, <laughs> I, I yes, say yes. No, how because do I, you get on those mailing lists excuse me <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just curious I just want to say if there are people that haven't updated their mailing list since the website that I work for was shut down that is not my fault <laughs> oh. and if I get those emails and I RSVP yes without asking how did I get on this list that is not something anyone needs to look into 
that is not because I'm an LGBTQ plus creator and whether or not I'm employed <laughs> currently by Bustle Digital Group doesn't mean I can't attend the J. Crew Pride um, activation. <laughs> well, the thing about companies is that much like people are relative, they live on forever. Exactly. And so even though Gawker went under, sure. Bustle went under, uh-huh. Jezebel, all those <laughs> yeah. things, you know, they are, they're like a ghost in your, well, in your family yeah. beach house. A yeah. brand is forever. Exactly. Brand Humans is forever. die. A brand is forever. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. I mean, it's like when people romanticize magazines, they're like, oh, who would I be without sassy magazines? Like, <laughs> or yeah. Miz. Or Miz. Or George. Or George. Yeah. I mean, those live on. I yeah. have a question. Mm. How has Jezebel survived? Well, oh, is that one still? That one is still, still kicking. On there. So, okay. yeah. and it always has been. And I'm like, but wait, how? I Everything like it's else been a blog since before computers even. Existed. Yeah. Like, well, they created the internet from around biblical Jezebel. Time. <laughs> it's from biblical so, times. So Je- someone started Jezebel a blog. is the ghost in the machine. Je- right, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so someone started Jezebel, and they were like, "It's a blog," and everyone's like, "What is that? What is that?" They're, they're like, "We don't know." But we, we have, have to, to create computers. Out. We have to, find we have out. to create. And then, and then Steve Jobs and everyone. Like created computers around. They were like, well, we have to have something to host Jezebel on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was a great prophet. Jezebel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. well, that wow. answers the question. Interesting. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> End of episode. <laughs> Look, oh but gun, blackout gunshot. Yeah. Like, I want to know, Macy. Truth. Truth. So, yeah. It's cloudy outside. No, <laughs> let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. It's cloudy outside. It's cloudy. It's not only cloudy, but like apocalyptic in a way where we are, of course, in our famous Midtown studio, the Red Room, mm-hmm. and we are looking out. And and as we walked in, the rain was starting, and now we're looking outside, yep. and it is becoming, you know, Darren Aronofsky's Noah. Yeah. Yeah. The, the storm is starting, and you better get two little skunks of different genders on that boat. <laughs> <laughs> Slash, kind of like the game or something. One of yeah. like one of those nineties <laughs> yes. like um, yeah, yeah. Wall Street uh, thrillers, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Or Wall Street. Or Wall, or Wall Street. Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's actually yeah. It's funny. It's not sci-fi, but it is like okay. You're in this like really modern contemporary apartment, and uh-huh. two people are. Um, plotting something. Yeah. So the weather outside is foreshadowing that something bad is going to happen. Yes. Yeah. It's dam. It's Glenn Close and Damages planning how she's going to murder. Oh you know I mean? my yeah. God. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And she says something, and then there's thunder. But it's also not not sci-fi where you're like sort of the only person who realizes you're a person. It's almost Matrixy where you're like mm. everyone else is walking around in the clouds, and you're like. Oh, Wait, suddenly true. I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Suddenly why, I why see. Don't they notice the rain? They're not getting wet. Oh, yeah. God. Suddenly I see. Actually, the soundtrack really doesn't go with really doesn't go with the material because <laughs> it's this I really see. dark, yeah. really dark, like Zack Snyder's <laughs> Justice League. And then it's like suddenly I see. Suddenly I see. <laughs> or it's one of those trailer remixes of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Suddenly I <laughs> <laughs> see. Wait, yeah. It's a children's choir doing suddenly I see yeah. it in a oh really creepy God. way. Suddenly I Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Wow. So, Macy, I want to know, like, you know, obviously this is our Pride episode. Mm -hmm. How, like, at this moment in time, it's 2023. Yeah. We're in New York City, Mm -hmm. a city that never sleeps. (laughs) Seriously. How, where are you in terms of Pride as a concept these days? Well, um... She's crying. Love it. (laughs) (laughs) You know... Gotta love it, yeah, right? You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. With all these damn drag queen t shirts being mm. ripped from the shelves. Mm. Oh. And at Goodyear Tires, the Rainbow Tire Collection, <laughs> ripped from cars, you know? Yeah, they're ripping out wheels. They're ripping out wheels. <laughs> they're ripping out rainbow <laughs> and wheels. And cars can't they, drive without the wheels. They have those the uh, those spike things on the road. Yeah. They throw, oh, yeah. They're throwing them across. They're yeah. making yeah. these cars crash into deep ravines. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, whether or not pride has become tiresome over right. the years, mm-hmm. I've mm-hmm. heard talk of that. I don't necessarily subscribe to that idea, sure. but I understand that's a popular popular sentiment yeah. um we i think we have to just support it and we all have to be on sixth avenue on june 25th oh we're busy that day actually <laughs> Sorry. that sucks that it's that day we have the j crew pride activation <laughs> uh, yeah. okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Right. well 
sponsored by the Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, it's really far They're out aggressive of town. now. They hired a new head of diversity and inclusion. <laughs> Things are topsy turvy these days. If and someone approached you and they were like, Do you want to be the head of diversity and inclusion at the Westboro Baptist Church? Yeah. What would you say? Here's twenty five million dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm say, like, sure. Yeah. I'll okay. have a conversation. I'll get in that room. <laughs> yeah. I think they have like a lot of time off. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, you traveling. guys, uh, we uh, we have to address these people. We have to be in the room to make change. <laughs> we have to be in the room to make change. We have to be in the room. Of Westboro Baptist Church, <laughs> <laughs> of Alex Jones's uh, personal office. Mm, um, yeah. yeah, I mean that's these are the rooms we have to be in for pride. <laughs> <laughs> now more than ever, now Fox than News. Ever. We got to storm it after this. <laughs> I mean, it's right it's there, literally right there. <laughs> it's practically in the building. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, should we do our first segment? Is that crazy? I don't think it's crazy. Okay, and then I feel like I want to really get into the topic because we're only going to mm. do Gay Do Lab once. That's not mm. true. Okay. Could be a yearly, could be, could a, be yearly a smash thing. success. Yeah, I love this true. sort of queer argument, sort <laughs> yeah. of gay argument that yeah. you uh, yeah, manufactured it's... before the show. <laughs> disagreements. Yeah. Very well, gay. Yeah. yeah. Very Ooh, gay. Yeah. Disagreements, disagreements are, very are gay. Yeah. Consensus? Straight. Uh, super straight. Super straight. <laughs> Manufacturing consent, even? Straight. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, you know, for our special edition, we're doing, um, a very brand new segment. Mm, um, it's called, it's called Gay Shooters. Gay Shooters. Um, mm. and it's to, um, gauge your familiarity with and complicity in gay culture by okay. asking you a series of rapid fire questions, mm. basically this thing or this other thing. Mm. And the only rule is you can't ask any follow-up questions or maybe you can because it's gay this time. You can ask follow-up <laughs> questions but only if you do it in like a really LGBTQ plus way. Oh, like, like if you're like, what did you mean by that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you're like, hold on a second there, girl. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so sorry. I'm not, I just for everyone watching, I'm not looking at my text. I'm looking at a text I sent myself with my gay shooters. <laughs> okay. Very gay. I, you know what I mean? I'm like, impressed with your I, research. Because I could see people being like, why is he texting? I'm not. Even if you were, it would be, it would was, be consistent with the uh, thesis the theme, of the episode. It's the Gadio Lab. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, sort I'm of, just gonna now I'm like, is over. everything, <laughs> texting is part of the theme, which is Gadio Lab? <laughs> like, <laughs> we're just like, <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> what just wait. Text. What do you think okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Literally, we're restarting the episode. <laughs> okay, okay, okay Gadio Lab starts now. Okay, so welcome to Gadio Lab. And did you see this? Here we go. I'm busy. Okay, and I hate her. Okay. So... So yeah, um, gay so, shoot. We're doing our segment, gay shooters. Um, wait, guys, seriously, the government's crazy right now. Yeah. I know. Did you I hear? Know. I just got that New York Times notification. They're shutting the whole thing down. Um, They're shutting the whole government down. Uh, Honestly, work for good. <laughs> Honestly, work. Honestly, work. <laughs> okay. Finally, let's, yeah. Let's do. Let's do gay shooters. Okay, so gay shooters. So Macy, you know, go with God, of course. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, Macy. Having an Aperol spritz or having anonymous sex at the Ritz? Mm, I think the spritz. Yeah, you gotta wow. go with the spritz. Okay, Macy. Could Baby Gronk be the next Riz King or Zendaya is Michi and LeBron James is Gwangi? Zendaya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Macy, Demi Lovato or I'll have a Cortado? <laughs> I'll have a Cortado. Oh, yeah. Okay, this girl is on fire or the boy's a liar? Girls on fire. Mm. Freaking out because you spotted Kirsten Dunst or tweaking out while listening to music that goes unst unst. <laughs> wow. Good. We'll go with Kiki. Not safe for work or too cool for school. Mm. NSFW. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being LGBTQ or I don't have a problem with all gay people. I have a problem with you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The latter. The yeah. Latter. Yeah. Okay, Lady Gaga <laughs> doing an ad for Nurtech, Ooh. or Sam and George doing an ad for Durex? Ooh. Sam and George. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad we did that ad to celebrate Pride. <laughs> <laughs> that was, um, I you know I hit play on our episode. I said, mm -hmm. let's see how this sounds, and it starts with an ad. And I was like, when the hell did we do this? I know. <laughs> We're doing did so they many AI ads. your voices. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all yeah. Chat GBT. Yeah, um, they made me sound. They made us both sound really mask. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which was like, nice. People like, been, hey cowboy, <laughs> wrap it up before you shoot babies into your ground. <laughs> 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 wow, I wish they would do that. Drain those nuts <laughs> using <a> spit. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Drain me and them. the fellas would rather go raw. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the inside of a pussy feels real good, but you'll feel it just as well with an Rx. Oh my god. <laughs> Put on a raincoat and make it rain. <laughs> That's a much better ad than what uh, we recorded. Yeah. You can use that. Let's replace the ad with yeah, that. I think that'll be if really any good. producer is listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we get into our topic? Uh, yeah. So basically, since this is my passion project, yeah. um, I thought- Congratulations, some, by the way. Yeah. I think it's going really well. You know, if anyone out there, um, it doesn't feel that people believe in them, mm -hmm. um, and they have a really good idea <laughs> for an alternative version of their mildly <laughs> successful podcast- Yeah. Um, just keep fighting mm -hmm. because one day you're going to be at the top of the tower in Midtown and mm -hmm. you will be doing your alternative podcast. Yeah. Yeah. And God will be punishing you with a big rain. Heavy yeah. Rain. Yeah. Heavy but you're rain. kind of an example for all those like freaks out there. Like, exactly. Anyone who like was ever picked on in school. Yes. Maybe high yeah. school. Yeah. The losers. Yeah. Just out alone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you were ever told that what you are is wrong, that what you are is not fucking perfect, to quote Pink, then guess what, honey? <laughs> this episode's for you. If a teacher ever told you, hey, this answer's wrong, then this episode's for you. If a teacher ever told you, you can't read, and you're in fifth grade, this episode is for you. If, if, someone, if, a, if, a, if, if your coach said, stop screaming now, then this episode's for you. And if you were ever put in an after-school program for kids that had like specific learning needs, but they made it clear that you don't have a learning disability and you're not mentally ill, you're just kind of dumb. Uh -huh. This episode is for you. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so since it is my passion project, I um, um, thought of some topics yeah. today. And um, can I read what of they course, are? Of course, of uh, course. So, you know, it's, this is such a tough Do you need thing. a moment? I know this is really personal for you. This is so tough because so often we aren't looking inward. Uh, yeah. And to sort of examine my own life and be yeah. like, what is my culture? 100%. Yeah. You know what this is giving? And I'm sorry to interrupt you. Please. This is giving. Okay. This is like when an actress directs a film. Yeah. It's like her entire life she's been told what to do. She's been told like, tits out and look pretty, miss. <laughs> Toots. <laughs> Miss Toots. Miss Toots. <laughs> Tits out and look pretty, Miss Toots. Okay? That's what that's what they told Olivia Wilde. That's what they told Olivia Wilde. That's what they told Sarah Pauly. And that's what they told mm -hmm. Sarah Pauly. Yes. Even. Um, and that's what they told Kristen Stewart before she directed that Boy Genius video. Mm. And they woke mm -hmm. up one day, and that's, by the way, what they told Reese Witherspoon before she became a mega producer on the series Big Little Oh, Lies. my God, that's yes. That's true, that's and they, true. And they said, you know what? I know how the industry works by this point. I have money, and I have ideas. And yeah, I've read every single bestseller targeting women this year, and I'm gonna adapt all of them for miniseries on HBO Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that being said, mm -hmm. um, these were my topics. I said tickets, travel, threesomes, women, weird underwear, and the stage. Mm. Um, you know, I was really hoping um, that we would pick weird underwear, but respect. <laughs> I am always. We can touch like, on it. We can touch on it for yeah. sure. I have been trying to make weird underwear as a joke happen. Like, I used to do this. I tried to do this joke one time that obviously it was like one of like right after like being able to do shows again in the pandemic, yeah, yeah. where I was like, okay, like let's all new stuff, <laughs> and I'd be like, best part about being gay, gotta be the weird underwear. <laughs> <laughs> like to exist or like, like, like Andrew, Andrew Christian. Christians and like, uh -huh. there's so many like weird it's just kind of weird yeah it's yeah. like more or less like it would be recognizable as a pair of underwear yeah probably. it's like too big in some places too small in others there's cutouts in random places there's like right. weird engineering it's the, like they kind of stand alone like without being right. on a body like the colors oh yeah are so bizarre so it's like a deep purple and a bright orange <laughs> yeah. or something or like a coral and a neon green it's almost like a child picked the colors yeah yeah. yeah, and a child did. <laughs> and his name, his, is Andrew. Andrew. his name is Andrew. His name is Andrew. Andrew Christian is 12 years old. Andrew Christian. <laughs> and he's being groomed. <laughs> By big underwear. By big underwear. You know, this is a very you thing to say because, <laughs> okay, I feel like, to catch you up, Macy, mm. a thing with Sam is sort of like sometimes something will be sort of straight, but because Sam is so deeply entrenched in gay life, mm. he only knows of it as a gay thing. Yeah. Oh, so it'll sure. be like, you know, going on... Trips. Well, like and Sam is like travel. It's like Sam's like, oh, that's like something gay guys do. And and it's 
Well, yeah, like definitely the gay guys we know do that. But when I think of trips, I think of like a family trip yeah, yeah, or, like, yeah. or like an office retreat or whatever. Like you can argue that it's straight. This is funny because to me, complicated- <laughs> you're like men going down on women. <laughs> so gay. <laughs> <laughs> like complicated underwear is so pioneered by like women wearing like sexy lingerie. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. And it's sure. like, and then also the like very 90s premise of like a man buying a woman sexy lingerie. Yeah. Like I feel like that is very straight. Which is so weird because like, how do you know her size? It's like, is- <laughs> <laughs> like that's, that's like the bra alone is like, it's like you'd need the cup size and the like, the width. Right. Like, Right, and it, I mean, not and just the, nipple the, si- the nipple and the size, the aerial well, well, uh, dimensions. The thi- I mean, you can sort of attest to this when you go up to buy women's underwear. When I go to the bra you, store, they yeah. Ask you how big your nipples are? Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They they touch them. They, yeah. they, touch, they take out a magnifying glass. They're like, we're gonna need a bigger bra for this for this alas <laughs> nipples looking like salami. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> it's like a bunch of old smoking women. Yeah. 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 They're calling everybody last. <laughs> They're calling everyone last. Um, okay, so you wanted to do weird underwear. Yeah. Well, I was hoping it would speak most to all, but yeah. what actually spoke to all was women. Yeah. I will say I... <laughs> women's stories matter. Women's stories matter. They they period. Matter. Point they blank. Um, we're actually all going to the Women's Stories Matter float after this. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> and it's not affiliated with Reese at it's all. Not it's not affiliated It's with some Reese. gay guy on Twitter. It's just <laughs> the GIF on a big TV. <laughs> it's actually, yeah. it is actually sponsored by the first person to make that a GIF. Yes, yes, yes. Who's now kind of a national hero. Who's now a national hero. Yeah. And has just been promoted to CEO of iHeartMedia. <laughs> I do also like the stage. I want to compliment you. Oh, yeah, the All stage is great. All of those topics are really good. Thank you. And I'm sorry I led with negativity. No, Can I no, ask no. what Tickets is about? Tickets is about, like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> events. And people love to go to, like, ticketed events. Like, to me, that's, like, people yeah. at Pride are, like... <laughs> I'm sorry. I think this is another one of your... <laughs> Of your being too entrenched in LGBTQ life. No, everyone's always like, did you get tickets to that? Or like, I'm selling my tickets to this. And it's like, (laughs) do you think straight people don't do that? I think they do it way less. Okay, okay, okay. I think they do it like once a year for like the big game or the big concert. You think gay guys are like, are like, (laughs) oh, I just got to snatch up the tickets. Otherwise, I'll be gone. Oh my God. And then they don't think about their plan. I literally think that's what they do. I can see that. They're like, oh, might as well get Caroline. I don't know when the next time we're going to be able to figure out, you know. The tickets are on sale. Tickets are on sale every single day. They have like color swatch, like a color swatches book, but it's all just tickets to see Caroline Polachek. And they're like, I don't know, February, March, September. And they're dusting it at night <laughs> while watching night. like Selling Sunset. <laughs> no, tickets are huge in the gay community. Yeah. Okay, okay I'll give you right. that. I'll yeah. give you that. Ticket yeah. to the Fire Island Ferry. Oh totally, my God, totally. even yeah. that. Yeah. Can't do anything without a ticket these days. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a ticket to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> So, and not to mention the golden ticket, Willy Wonka. Well, Timothy yeah. Chalamet, Dick Vane hat. <laughs> gay guys will know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Gay guys know. Yeah, gay guys know. Gay guys know. That's a soundboard yeah. thing we need. Uh, ring gay the gay guys, gay guys know, know alarm. <laughs> gay guys know. Gay guys know. <laughs> um, so, okay. So, uh, so tickets is valid. We've tickets decided is tickets valid. is valid. Yeah, we're validating the tickets. <laughs> Wow. And the sta- I mean, the stage I obviously love. Yes. Yeah. Well, that one's, I thought that one would be interesting because it is complicated, as we all know, when there's, when you are performing on a stage and there's gay people that also want to be performing on stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, well, we can Renaissance all. Renaissance tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eras tour. Then the audience is the stage. It's too yes. much performance. There's performance yeah. in every direction. Yes. Uh, Any Lana show where it's just, they're singing the all the lyrics uh, the, the, h- louder than her. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, shh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Wow. Which my my sibling bought me tickets to a Patti Smith show uh, oh on New God. Year's Eve. Don't get me started. And, uh, and which is decidedly not gay, I think, in a way. Talk about, we could talk about that for hours. Yeah, we'll just leave <laughs> like that Patti over Smith's here. We'll put place a in the culture. In that. I could write books and they'd be better than just kids. <laughs> Oh my God, you bitch. But it was like such a straight audience and it was literally people just being like, <laughs> love it. Isn't she great? Like it was uh, like, because the night, like yeah. it was nobody doing that. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a very Patty Smith, I think does draw a sort of NPR crowd. 
Yeah, it, well, it was half NPR and half kind of like um, like booze crews, like Jimmy Buffett-ish <laughs> people oh, that are just like, like, I heard a rock. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, punks that are now like 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Okay, so now we're at women. Women. Right? And so now we're at women, which, okay, <laughs> is obvious. Obvious. But it's like sort of like, this is where it gets difficult to do Gadio Lab because for right. us we're like, well, what's there to explore? Well, it's <laughs> I mean, like, obviously. Uh, enough said. It, it, it's already genius that it's like we're two gay guys and we invited a woman and we're like, yeah. <laughs> um, but. I guess Macy, you picked women. You you said that's yeah. a fun topic. Yeah. And so, you know, what do you think like what do you think is gay about women? <laughs> <laughs> well, aside from gay women. Right. Of course. Gay woman. <laughs> um Right. Women can just be gay. They can. A lot yeah. of people don't know this. Yeah. A lot of people don't know yeah. this. It's not yeah. very widespread knowledge, but they they, they can. And it's actually legal too. Um yeah. it was legal before men were allowed to yes. be gay. Yeah, which is cool. Um, but, uh, I, yeah, I mean, I, it's kind of like what you're talking about with the tickets thing. It's like whenever there's any kind of woman, mm -hmm. gay guys will find a way to like, yeah. um, <laughs> pathologically idolize her mm -hmm. or, yeah. or yeah. hate her. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So I like whether or not it's like a business woman with a briefcase or like, your mom mm -hmm. or like somebody else's mom mm -hmm. or Beyonce yeah. or Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. It's like th there's like there is a very gay thing that is like it's kind of related to trans, but it like took a different hallway, <laughs> you know, where it's like you it's like gay guys like are women in a way. <laughs> Right. In like of a course. very 60s way, like, what, what are you talking about, skirt, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, in like kind of a, a, a um, a, I shouldn't have said that way, like, no, <laughs> degrading no, no. way. Oh, no, 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 I think you're pointing, I mean, basically the pathology of being a gay man. And by the way, this podcast <laughs> is not just about gay men. I want to make, I feel like we're being very gay guy central. Well, this is from and what's the perspective of a gay guy. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, yeah, right. right. I if gay only... guys are women, then you're silencing women's voices. <laughs> that's true. Oh my God, that's, that's tea, sis. <laughs> If gay guys are women, if gay guys are women, then you're silencing women's, women's voices. voices. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I do think that like the entire dilemma of being a gay man is basically figuring out psychoanalytically your relationship to women. Mm. Yeah, like to the woman within, to the woman that raised you, to the woman that is with you at any given moment. This is sounding very like a monologue from Wild. <laughs> Did I tell you my big idea? That would be amazing if you just snuck in yeah. a monologue from Wild. Well, I've been known to do that before. <laughs> but my big idea is, okay, okay, this is actually, there's not that much time left in Pride. So if there are any drag queens listening, please take this idea and do it. You don't have to credit me. It's a drag queen named Cheryl Slade. And she is dressed as Reese Witherspoon and Wild. Oh, okay. And because it's Cheryl Strayed and Wild. Oh, yeah, got yeah. it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So she's dressed as Cheryl Strayed with the pack, with the big backpack, uh -huh. and the number is The Climb by Miley Cyrus. Oh. That's good. And you just walk slowly <laughs> yeah. across and the room. Like, it's like, and it's like she's hiking, she's yeah. climbing, and she's doing the climb. <laughs> That's genius. That's, good. That's actually That's really good. Thank you. It could be cool also if there were like dancers that sort of um, <laughs> like got on all fours. Yeah, and, and they're the animals. Uh, and you no, you would like climb up them. Like they'd get oh. on top of each other. Oh, it becomes staircase. like a moving kind yeah. of mountain yeah. set. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think I that, that could be really the powerful. The choreo from the idol. Um, <laughs> which, I mean, yeah. speaking of which. I haven't seen it. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. We're not saying on any topic. Wait. Okay. So. That was my contribution, gay men's relationship to women. Yes, you yes, know? yes, yes, yes. It's like, yeah, it's uh, weird, like, feminization that is maybe more, uh, like, not intentional, but, like, happen. I don't know. I'm not a fucking doctor. Well, first of all, don't sell yourself <laughs> short. You are. <laughs> and second of all... Get into surgery right now, Diva. <laughs> Wash those hands, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Us recording from and what you let go is right there. <laughs> He's flatlining, sweetheart. <laughs> scalpel, mama, scalpel. <laughs> so wait, I want to actually say one more thing about g g queer women, which is that like, okay, 
it's funny because, and I'm speaking in binaries right now, but like, let's say, okay, gay men are defined by the women they idolize, the women they tear down, fine. Then you would think that gay women were like obsessed with men. Not the case. Gay women not are, the case. Gay not women case. are also they, obsessed with women. Yes. Like, so in fact, that's what makes the concept of women LGBTQ <laughs> is that no matter where you fall on the spectrum, you obsessed are with women. obsessed with women. Yes, yes. Like there, and, and I think that applies to pretty much, I mean, it's like, Literally, like anyone on the spectrum. Like, there's no one, <laughs> there is no one on the spectrum who is like, yas, men. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a conservative trans man. Totally. But I can't. Like Buck Angel. Yeah. <laughs> Buck Angel's like, yes, men. <laughs> Buck Angel is like, yas, men. <laughs> yeah, he did the Durex ad. Yeah, he did the Durex ad. <laughs> um, yeah. But. Yeah, you're. Yeah, no, you're right. But like, all, uh, I like that point about uh, gay women because like they really could be like on an island. Right. Don't need men for anything. Right. You know? Yeah. Whereas like if gay men were on an island, they would need a woman there to stand. Exactly. They start. They would draw one in the sand. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It's also sort of why queer women are a stronger community because they actually uplift their own. Uh huh. Whereas gay men don't. Sure. Yeah. You know, there could never be a gay Melissa, gay man Melissa Etheridge. I don't think. Right. Uh, no. And every no. time there's been an, an attempt, it's yeah. been it's same gone with, horribly yeah. wrong. Same with stand-up comedy. I mean, there's so many famous lesbian comedians. Mm -hmm. Name one gay male comedian. Literally can't. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I can't. I, I can't. I can't. I can't think of a single no, one. Nope. Of one. Yeah, Women: one. Wanda Sykes, Margaret Cho, <laughs> Ellen, Paula Poundstone, Rosie O'Donnell. Literally, multiple gay women have had talk shows. Yes, yes, yes. Men can't think of a single. Can't think name. of a single one. <laughs> no. Wow. <Yeah>. Well, <laughs> I love that. Macy, who's your favorite woman? I think it changes a lot. Marissa Tomei. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, I guess. She's been there. Yeah. She's been there. Uh, Maybe during the wrestler era. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, what do you look for in a in woman? A woman? <laughs> <laughs> um complexity. Yeah. Power. Power, totally. yeah. Yeah. Uh, strength. Strength. <laughs> I I actually <laughs> but vulnerability. But but vulnerability. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Which is a strength. Which yeah. Is a str oh. <laughs> Right, say that. Right, <laughs> say it, sis. <laughs> um, right now, I'm loving. Hate to say it, Lily Rose Depp. So really? wait, I she's. You know, I gotta say, I watched the first half of the first episode. She's killing it. I love the show. <laughs> I love really? the show. Yes. Wow, now it's I've like seen everything. It's um. Speaking of women, mm. it reminds me a lot of Showgirls. Oh, it's very like. Stupid, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's. I mean, not whatever, but it's camp. Right? Well, it is, it is Gadio Lab. It's Gadio Lab. Yeah, yeah. Gadio I think Lab. we're allowed can, to bring camp yeah. back for Gadio I Lab. Sort of, and I sort of think, <laughs> right? <laughs> I've always struggled with Euphoria because I, I hate think, Euphoria. Exactly, hate Euphoria. Thank you, Sam likes it. I love I can't, it. I can't watch it. Y'all are off but, your rocker. Guess what? <laughs> Euphoria, straight, the idol gay. Exactly. Oh my Literally. god! Yes, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Wow. So Sam Levinson, um, bisexual confirmed. I actually think it's the weekend that make. I think the weekend yeah. is queer code. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? Well, the, you. I'm sure you've seen the like little monologue from the second episode where he's like, "I'm gonna stretch your tight little oh, pussy no, out." I did. Yeah. I saw the like. Little that is the shot. gayest thing I've ever seen. Right. Well, it's like straight pulled straight from a grinder totally, message. Totally. You know. <laughs> wow. True. I mean, even though he's saying, yeah. "I'm gonna stretch your little pussy out." Yeah, so it's, I mean, um, John Early has a joke about this in his new special, which is that in retrospect, the Trump tapes are kind of gay when he's like, grab him by the pussies, he's my care. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a gay man's impression of what a straight man would say. And I feel like that's yeah, like very so much, extreme. Yeah, like yeah. I feel like that very much is, it's like a man that is comfortable in his masculinity is not going to say that. No, he's though. like, yes, honey, yeah. stretch that tight little pussy <laughs> hole for me. I'm going to put my big, huge cock in your little tight pussy. I've got my big fat tongue. It's going to go right on that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then she's oh. like, and she's like a beautiful pop star yeah. <laughs> of like a disgraced actor's child. Like, oh it's my so god. insane. Oh my god. It's the most insane thing to ever be released, I think. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch. One of them. Well, One of 
I but, yeah. The whale was up there. <laughs> oh my god! Do you know that? I so I watched the whale finally on a plane, mm-hmm. and I think because of the altitude, I I cried. Oh, I cried yeah. for sure. It's and very I, you. You are crying while being like, "This is incorrect." <laughs> like, I, like I am. For the sake of this scene, I have to go by their rules. And yes. based on those rules, I'm crying. Yes, yes, but those yes. rules are wrong. If I don't cry, I'm not fulfilling the contract exactly, exactly. of going into this movie. The way that you two are on the same page about very controversial <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. pieces of media is shocking to me. It's very like, we found the only two people <laughs> that like that, that stand lo- the idol and the whale. <laughs> like, I didn't know this was possible in, in today's culture. Um, um, which just goes to show you that Gadio Lab is bringing people together. It's true. And I mean, women are such a, complex. And women, and women are, complex, are so complex. Especially, they can like the idol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah women are complex, and so is Brendan Fraser. <laughs> um, I started standing a woman on the train today. Oh my God, who? Do I know her? <laughs> <laughs> she was like reading. Um, she was reading Lord of the Rings on the train in like a performance, and I was like, I mean, I'm in a movie. I'm already buying tickets. I, yeah. I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. This is like. It's like a 2007 like indie totally. movie. What and I is was, that? Like, There's so like excited. there are women walking around New York City constantly, and you see them go by, and you go, "That's a movie." <laughs> She's in her own movie. Yeah. What's happening? She's in a HBO series. I, I think you're pointing to the. Ex- I, I think this is the right sort of way into this topic. It's yeah. Not div- It's we're not talking about diva worship. Yeah. We're not talking about like Eliza. Yeah. It's literally that like as you're walking, <laughs> it's like. It's like in the same way that someone has a sex addiction and they like can't be around like women with a decolletage because they're like too turned on. The gay equivalent of that is like you can't, there's too many strong independent women all around me and I'm distracted because they all deserve their own show. <laughs> yes. All you need, you know what I mean? You need nothing to set the scene. You need a, a purse. Yeah. And like looking out into the it, distance yeah. or like someone like jotting down a note. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or looking at your phone at and then being like, Oh my God! A sigh yeah. of any kind. I eight series. Green the star- where I, eight, eight seasons. The Starbucks where I got this very iced coffee. Oh there were two teens God. making out, and I was like, "This girl is having a coming of age moment in the Starbucks in Midtown." She's being Lady Bird in public <laughs> right now. <laughs> She's literally yeah. Ladybird. She's about to dive into a pool, and Perfume Genius is going to play. Oh this is God. crazy. <laughs> Happy summer to all. Yes. Yeah. What's a What's um? Have you seen To Leslie? <laughs> No. Oh no, we flew too close to the sun and found something we don't have in common. No, I, I haven't seen it. Okay, but guess oh, what? Too Leslie, I feel like the, the way Too Leslie got made is like someone <laughs> looked at a woman that was Leslie on the street and they were like, I have to make a movie about her. <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like a lot of that has been coming out recently to totally. Leslie. Did you ever see Gloria Bell? Yes. Yeah. Love Gloria Bell. Yeah. That's Gloria definitely Bell. someone who like, somebody was just like, <laughs> Oh my God, she's standing in that parking structure just staring? <laughs> she's on her lunch break? What? Maybe she's going through a divorce. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, Seems like so I gotta true. watch some more movies, huh? <laughs> well, you know what? Aura reads, I think it I think it stretches to any kind of media. I mean, mm-hmm. I, basically I only read books that are narrated by women going through divorces. And yes. I highly recommend it. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Wait, I had something about like, how do like straight men see a woman on the train reading the book? <sighs> Yeah, they say, "Hoba, hoba." <laughs> <laughs> it's literally Come suck it's, a like, man no. <laughs> it's literally two Leslie is on the subway and she's like struggling with addiction, and meanwhile a man is like, "Nice tits on that one." <laughs> and it's like, try to. You inter- like drinking? <laughs> I got something for you to drink. <laughs> Piss and come. No. She's like, I'm trying to reconnect with my son. I'm like, I'll give you something to reconnect with. <laughs> trying to connect with your son. You need a dad. <laughs> God. They'll never understand women <laughs> like we do. No. 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 I have a question for you, Macy. Mm. As a woman, do you feel like sometimes when you're on the subway, someone is thinking you're too Leslie? <laughs> Someone is like she is in a movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that a lot of pressure? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Do you like it? Sometimes. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's it. That's uh, trans women. I feel like are often like get um, uh, some guy that's just like, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, in what way? Like in a a guy that is like in an uh, emotional way, in or an in emotional a- way, sexual way, or like a gay guy. 
gay guy. Oh, gay guy. Gay guy. Oh, who is like standing you in real time. <laughs> standing you and is like, I love the way you just ordered that drink. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. you smoke cigarettes, totally. so crazy. Oh my God, totally. eat a salad, so great. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I think because it's, <laughs> it's within the community, it's mm-hmm. like, there's the there it's there uh, it's fine to say something totally which it is yeah you know but it's I don't think you would go up to y- your coworker Melissa and right. say oh my god that salad you ate sis <laughs> <laughs> right right that is very complicated yeah it is very complicated you chose a very complex yeah I guess I'm really complex. You're really complex. <laughs> I guess there's a maybe lot, you're too Leslie. Maybe I'm too Lesleying. <laughs> too Lesleying oh. is when you're being complex. <laughs> <laughs> In a feminine type of way. Yes, yes, way. Yeah. Yes. Um okay. Also, I want to talk about like I feel like in the past, yeah. straight men had muses a lot. Mm-hmm. And it was always like a woman that they would be like, No, I need to make you a star, or like totally. you're inspiring me to yeah. make a film. Mm-hmm. And it's like how do we square that in the Gadio lab. Right. Well, you know, you know who would have a lot to say about that? Hannah Gatsby. And it's the topic of, <laughs> of their brand new exhibition. It's problematic right now at the Brooklyn Museum. Well, <laughs> go see it. Go see it. That's all I'll say. Go have see you, it. Have you ever been a muse? Yes, to Hannah Gatsby. <laughs> uh, well, great work. Yeah, really impressive <laughs> stuff. You inspired some really brilliant stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> Nanette. <laughs> she, changed like, your name, it... <laughs> she changed your name for legal reasons. Yes, yes. I was like, isn't that about bad stuff? But Nanette is... No, but the, the way um, <laughs> Hannah Gatsby... I think Hannah Gatsby was like, this show is going to be about someone named Nanette. Then I changed my mind, but I kept the title. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we literally still don't know who Nanette is. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, talk about complicated. Um, Have I ever been amused? Yeah, I think so. Um, To um, different gay guys in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Totally, totally. (laughs) But I'm still friends with them, so I don't want to blow up their spot. Uh, Yeah, sure. Um, But... uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's good. Do you have to check? Like, when they're like, hey, Macy, do you want to get drinks? And you're like, is it because I'm your muse? Uh, are you are you just, like, mining this for your uh, <laughs> next TV feature? show? Yeah. <laughs> Am I your muse or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> yeah, they are. They always have big arrest calls. Yeah. <laughs> <What are you? laughs> and they're painting furiously. They're painting they're furiously. With huge erections. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, Whoa. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I, I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. Hmm. Um, can a gay guy be a muse? Well, Let Sean me Hayes. <laughs> Hayes <laughs> is my muse. Yeah, Sean Hayes <laughs> is my muse. Next question. <laughs> I think like a um. Like a beautiful young twink could maybe be a muse. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, but then what kind of art is being created? Black and white photography. Yeah. <laughs> On Fire Island. On Fire yeah. Island. yeah. Maybe, Polaroid. Maybe yeah. a maybe jean Pol- brand. Maybe a jean brand. But unbuttoned. 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 Of unbuttoned. Of yeah. I mean, if you're buttoning your jeans, you're not a muse. I'll, <laughs> sell, I'll say that. <laughs> say the number that. one sign you're amused, your jeans are unbuttoned. <laughs> <laughs> This is like a, like a, you might be a redneck, but <laughs> um, you might your be a muse jeans are unbuttoned. This sounds, like, this sounds like something that would be on like a magnet or a coffee cup. Like, <laughs> you might be a muse if you drink that last uh, <laughs> bottle of Chablis. Like, and it's like a 50s housewife. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, okay, so we've talked about like. I mean, we do need to talk about like Devo. Worship. If we're gonna talk about women, I feel yeah. like we're talking we're like getting there. there. Yeah. Okay, maybe we should talk about that aesthetic that was so popular for a while and kind of still is the like '50s housewife drawing with like, um, uh, uh, just give me a riesling. Oh, like, you know, um, uh, I only drink in days that end in day. <laughs> yeah, <whatever>. yeah. <sighs> this is like, uh, I, like I feel like. Dr- 
drag queens got obsessed with that uh -huh, in a right. way where I'm always like, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like they can be like so talented and they're like doing the housewife thing and I'm right, like, right, again? Right. No, it's true. It's oh, true. the housewife aesthetic. The housewife yeah. aesthetic. Yeah. Oh, it's same with the pinup aesthetic. Yeah. Well, this, okay. No, this sort of points to one of the main issues of a lot of things we're talking about, which mm -hmm. is like, guess what? As much as we can, as much as gay people can say they love complex women, they want them to be complex in a very specific way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that way is essentially Lana Del Rey. Like yeah. they don't, because. It's Lana Del Rey, it's, it's too Leslie. It's too <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> and, and, and I do think that, I mean, this is where the obvious critique of like, is it all rooted in misogyny comes in, where it's like, can gay people, can queer LGBTQ plus people actually ever stand? A real complex woman. <laughs> like, like, what is the mo let's think of the most complex woman yeah. <laughs> that we can imagine? Okay, what is okay. the most we're complex? Ha we're hosting woman? the complex woman awards. Okay, uh, uh, and they're and they're judged by all gay guys. <laughs> <laughs> the gay guys are literally. Trying it's like the end of Bo is Afraid, <laughs> where it's just like a weird like. <laughs> Auditorium, but it's all gay guys. <laughs> it's all, yeah, it's a weird auditorium. It's but I was all afraid gay. kind of was this in a way. So I, I haven't seen it yet. Well, I did read the Wikipedia page mm -hmm. because I wanted to make sure I could handle it. I love them referencing this as if everyone has seen it. It's like no one no, saw Bo's afraid. I, yeah, literally. <laughs> but I need whatever. I need to see it for Patty. Oh my god, diva worship. <laughs> Here we go again. But it's and stay for like, Parker. Oh, <laughs> stay for Parker Mosey. Oh. <laughs> it's literally gay guys trying to atone for their sins of being sexist by hosting the Complex Woman Awards. <laughs> They're like, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. We're going to host the Complex Woman Awards. Okay, so what is a complex... The complex this is the, this is the intro. Is what is a what complex, is a complex woman? woman? Webster's defines complex woman as... Well, you know, iconically in our episode of Nori Reed, we defined a glamour girl mm -hmm. as someone who is glamorous, wounded, and seeking truth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. love that. And so that's certainly... I think that is the kind of complex woman that gay people are attracted to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the reporter with her... Um, notebook trying to solve the case. It's yes. it's basically Julia Roberts and Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> it's Julia Roberts. It's uh, yeah, um, Julianne Moore in anything. <laughs> Julianne Moore in anything. Yeah. Um, every, I also, but yeah. uh, uh, like the reverse is also true. A performative dressing down. Oh, mm. yeah. destroyer, destroyer, yeah. monster, monster. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Destroyer. Mwah. I mean, beautiful, uh, beautiful movie. Caked in mud. Yeah. Caked in caked, uh, caked in, in shit and dirt. Caked, she's literally caked in shit. <laughs> um this episode Holly Hunter in that in, in Top of the Lake. And Top of the and Lake. 13. And 13. Holly Hunter all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Holly Hunter all the time. This episode there uh, will be you will be able to make a supercut of you guys talking about <laughs> movies and me going <laughs> 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 Simply every, Okay wait I I've have seen, one for you I've seen what, 5 percent of the movie You've seen Monster No no You've seen Monster No okay, I have one for you Because I know you just Watched this movie <laughs> The mom and Rachel Getting married So true yeah. So Deborah true Winger. <laughs> Deborah Winger And Rachel getting married ding, 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 ding. And also Anne Hathaway And Rachel getting married Yeah mm. And the sister <laughs> Yeah Rachel Getting married Yeah Rachel getting married Was great for dressing down Yeah um, um, I'm you know, to... Audra McDonald in The Good Fight. Um, Halle Berry, Monsters Halle Ball. Halle Berry, Monsters Ball. Yeah. Meryl does it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Complex Woman so, Award. So, okay. We have so, to make a decision. That's a category. Okay. The dress, <laughs> dress down. The cat maybe there's one. Yes. <laughs> Is it all actresses? Well, no, no, no. no. That's, no we have to find women on the subway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Find, it's like, literally random women in New York, woman. and we have to find the most complex woman. Yeah. It's a complex woman pageant. <laughs> yeah. We're basically, so yeah, to battle sexism in the gay community, we're holding a pageant for women. <laughs> and we're holding a pageant for women, and the most complex woman, as judged by a panel of gay men, wins. It gets a boob job. <laughs> yes, gets a free boob it's job. It's the swan. <laughs> it's the swan. She gets swan. filler. Filler and Botox. We give her a full makeover, babe. <laughs> wow. You get maxillofacial surgery. You get all your teeth ripped out and new ones put in. <laughs> um, oh... Wow. Okay, so we've got so 
Mother, so, I think mothers m- should mother. be. Mother is a category. Mother, mother is, a is a category. category. And by the way, not in like the, not the gay not way. way. Mo- like, she's like, like a biological. A, bu- a mama. Mama. <laughs> <Yeah>. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. The Mommy Award. <laughs> the Mommy Award. Okay. Ma- Madre. Mom of the Year. Business yes. woman. Business, business. We're, we're literally <laughs> business doing, excellence. We're literally doing Paris is burning right now, and just like category is executive realness, but for but for cis straight women on the subway. I do want one that's um conservative woman. <laughs> conservative woman. Oh, conservative woman. I mean, yeah, you have. They're to. complex. I mean, They're she's gonna win, complex. unfortunately. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's complex. They're some of the most complex. Did women. you see um what's the Charlize Theron Fox News movie? Sh- Bombshell. Uh, all of them win. The woman All of, the of year. them win. All of them win. I'm so sorry. <laughs> they win every yeah. single year. They yeah. always sweep the awards. Yes. I'm always fascinated by. You know who is fascinating to me? Alora Bush. Yeah, mm. because you really are like anything. A could quiet be, wife yeah. of a war criminal. Anything could be going yeah. on. Up there. Yes, and I actually do think she has moments of real progressivism, and she has to like, t- you know, it, she, I think for instance, I she has a lot of gay friends. Okay, Laura is that Bush. true? I think so. Oh, you think? Okay, yeah, and I think because she like sort of came out pro gay marriage. She before. came out. She, <laughs> <laughs> she came out as questioning. <laughs> She's like the Q is valid. <laughs> so, like, Laura Bush. She's like <laughs> out of nowhere, twenty twenty one, coming out as questioning. She's like, well, I thought about it. I will admit, I thought about it. I, I and, have some um, questions. <laughs> I don't have an answer yet, but <laughs> I'm asking questions. myself. I've considered it. Sure. I'm asking some questions. Who among us? <laughs> I think Laura Bush coming out as questioning would be a great character for you in your <laughs> cabaret show. She's like, uh-huh. you seen Salma Hayek? <laughs> Pretty hard to deny. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> Looks like she smells good. I don't know what to say. Wow. <laughs> I Okay. Also, Laura Bush has like this like permanent smile on where mm-hmm. it's like yeah. Mona Lisa found dead in a ditch uh huh it's yeah. like a hundred percent Mona like, Lisa what is wishes she... she was Laura Bush yeah. <laughs> actually they do kind of look similar you know, like, yeah. she that. should recreate if you Mona style Lisa. Yeah. Mona Lisa like Laura Bush they should, Laura like, does Mona Lisa for the snatch game <laughs> by the way guess what for interview ma- Mel Ottenberg if you're listening for interview magazine I want a photo shoot of Laura Bush styled as the Mona Lisa Mel Ottenberg if you're listening we interviewed need this. by Vladimir interviewed Putin interviewed by Vladimir Putin <laughs> I want a big spread I want a big spread <laughs> oh my god the icons issue <laughs> love him or hate him it's still an obsession yeah. And then Laura Bush is posting like a thrill to work with photographer at bottom slot bottom. <laughs> and you click on their profile and it's only the black and white twings with the jeans on. And then Laura Bush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hair by <laughs> Diva Diva Curl Wigs number five. Makeup by Mayhem Miller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, you laugh, but at some point she will be a guest judge on Drag Race. Oh, oh my god, one hundred percent. I mean, Nancy was. Yeah, <laughs> Nancy true. P. Oh, I thought you. I was like Nancy Reagan. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I missed that episode. <laughs> they brought her. They, they brought her corpse and plopped it on one of those chairs. <laughs> and they were like, Nancy, how's your head? <laughs> <laughs> it falls off. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> it falls, it falls off. She's like, how that how's that for trickle down economics? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. So we have the mommy, businesswoman, strip Conser- down, yeah, conservative. conservative. These are categories. These I are think categories. we also need like Divorced. Well, divorced. <laughs> yeah, just general divorce category. We need, like, slut. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. That's right. We have not been celebrating sex. sex. And it's Pride Month. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> kink at Pride, it's a big... It's a big topic. It's a big topic, especially now that we have indie Pride. Right. We just don't know. We don't know how far... Right. That's a good question. Is kink allowed at indie bra? <laughs> well, that's when you get into like sounding and oh. and like uh, yeah. yeah. I don't want to see kink at indie bra. Oh yeah. my god, you don't want kink at indie bra? Not at indie bra. Not even at the Sarah Polly float. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Polly sounding station. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, um, you get um, you get lots of stuff over there. Yeah, you get lots of stuff lots over of there. <laughs> Sarah Pauly Sounding Station. Yeah, you got okay. Um, so no can get into Harmony cry. Corinne Human Tampon. <laughs> <laughs> The whole float. Uh, it gets really gnarly. Yeah, it gets really yeah. gnarly, and so yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. important. Oh now God. more than ever. Yeah, now more than ever. You kind of do want it behind closed doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The fox searchlight, <laughs> human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, we're being bad. We're being uh, bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, where do we go from here? I have literally no idea. I've never been more lost in my life. I feel like we've this has been such a groundbreaking episode uh, of Gadio Lab. It's insane. And I and, and just to be I just want to say this now while we're still recording. Mm. Like Sam, you had an idea. Uh-huh. And you fucking did it. <laughs> You're basically Lydia Tar. I'm being yeah. so Lydia Tar right now. <laughs> Lydia Tar would definitely slay at the awards. Oh my god, she would sweep a lot of the categories. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Conservative, conservative woman, conservative woman, queer woman, business woman. I mean, canceled woman, divorce is even canceled canceled woman. woman. Canceled woman. Yeah, That's Barry, a good I'm one. rooting for Barry Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who is that? She's like was wrote for the New York Times opinion section, and then rather than being fired, just quit and wrote about how she was pushed out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. She was one of these like anti-cancel culture, like. Uh, sure, sure, yeah. sure. Love it. Put Sub, her in there. Sub stack, Get Sub her stack in. Yeah, put her oh, in. Oh, sure, sure, sure. But yeah, but a slut category needs slut to be category. present. Um, this is starting to feel less like um, Paris is Burning and more like the like Westminster Dog Show. Right. <laughs> well, it's degrading. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Ah! Let's be honest with ourselves. <laughs> it's basically best in show. It's yeah. literally best. It is yeah. the one of the most degrading <laughs> things that like, one could possibly imagine. Uh, I think we, I think the complex one words have been canceled. I think. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, and it's <laughs> it's ran by Huffpa. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only way to make this work is if it is. I mean, then you just go. Basically, it should be just Lilith Fair. It should be like queer women judging other queer women. Yeah, yeah. Which is really the best way to judge women. I agree. Mm. <laughs> they should do that. They should do a RuPaul's Drag Race that is just like queer women owned and operated. Yes. It's like <laughs> she owns a tire store and then everyone's like, I loved what you did with those socks. Like they're really original. <laughs> yeah, that those, would be empowering. Those yeah. hiking boots look very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guest yeah, judge yeah. Rachel Maddow. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like the temperature in here is perfect. Who did that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I also love these stereotypes of queer women that we're putting. Yeah. Totally, totally. Yeah. I think it's really um, brave. Yeah, no one does that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> no, one's allowed to, no one's allowed to make generalizations about queer women anymore. It's huh. like, yeah, it's like how the idol is bringing back like kind of the 90s thriller, mm. Fatal Attraction remake. It's yeah. like we're bringing back like... Subaru jokes. Crazy, yeah, like, Subaru Subaru jokes. Yes, yeah, yeah, jokes yeah. about women. Yeah. And yeah. and lesbians. Yeah. I'll just say lesbians. lesbians. You can say it. Queer women don't have to be lesbians. Thank you. <laughs> Macy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. Is this episode offensive? Um I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah. I think this episode is one of our more offensive. I yeah, I feel bad every time I come here. I'm like no. calling Neil Patrick Harris a F A G no, word. No, no, no. No. No, no, I'm fine. creating a pageant for women. Do you feel like you're Judge being almost like um, by being part of this conversation, sort of joining us in degrading women? Do you feel like you're being complicit in a sort of oh, I'm just a guy's gal type of way? Yeah, I'm like the Jenny McCarthy exactly, of this yeah. network because you could have at any point <laughs> put your foot down and be like. Stop saying that about two Leslie. Yeah. But instead yeah. you joined in, made jokes. Like. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I, women tearing down women. I, I mean, love it. If you can't call women the C word, Sam. complex, <laughs> then I don't want Complex wanna... is the new C word. We're making merch. <laughs> complex is the new C word. <laughs> you know yeah. how they were like, oh, the B word is bossy? Uh -huh. the C oh, word I, is love I love that. I love that too. 
Because even mentioning the C word is kind of yeah, kind of risky. Oh, people got risky. mad at me. Yeah, people in this room. Yeah, exactly. There's about 50 people behind <laughs> the cameras, behind the mics, and they're all glaring. It's literally an. It's actually an all women crew, and they're all like horrified. They're like they have their arms crossed. They're like, what the? Fuck? I thought these were just like they're all, fun gay guys. They're all whispering to each other. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, but I think it brings up. A, it brings we're we're um. Not uh, we're not asking any questions, but we're gesturing towards yeah. problems of misogyny totally. of um, other stuff. I'm sure totally you global know. warming. Yeah, global warming. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Constitution, the debt ceiling. <laughs> yeah, the debt, <laughs> the, the upcoming debt. elections. Yeah, yeah, of course. They're always Student just around the corner. The Canadian Student wildfires. Debt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Macy, like as a woman, what do you think? And I, because I, I feel like, you know, you've been sort of at a remove. You're like, oh, this is what we're going to do with these women that we're going <laughs> to put in this room. But now I want to put the spotlight on you. As a woman, what do you think, for anyone listening that wants to be an ally to women, what are the issues currently facing women and what can we do to be better allies to women? Currently facing women issues. Specifically, and maybe even specifically address the gay guy community. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think that women's stories just need to be told. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah. It's a huge problem. It's just like there's not enough stories being told. Totally. So true. In general. In general. So true. Yeah. Mainly for women. Mainly for women. Yeah. yeah. Women's stories matter. <laughs> and what was the other half of the question? How can we be better allies to women? Oh, if you see a to Leslie on the street, uh huh, write that movie. You know, yeah. write that movie about that woman with a briefcase. So the movie should be written by gay men. <laughs> all, all, only, <laughs> yeah, only. That's your way okay. to give back to I women. See. You know, oh. right? By um, making them iconoclastic, by yeah. making them these, uh, you know, mm-hmm. these figures. Yeah. And you know, I think that um, it, it, because we were talking about men, may, may, uh, straight men don't see women right. the same way. I think maybe you should amp up some of the like f- features of their personality, uh-huh. their bodies. Yeah. Maybe have them in like corsets and big bras, Ooh, fun. big mm-hmm. wigs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if, yeah. they, if, if they even get a little bit sad, make them cry hysterically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just to really drive the point home. Yeah. I think this yeah. is like a really um, fair way forward. Okay. Yeah. You know? Perfect. All right. So any gay guys out there listening, if you see a woman... Write a movie about her. <laughs> I think that's yeah. where or, a show. Land it. or a show, or a show, or a show, or be a stage, or stage, or miniseries. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty Oh, yeah. I love that. Maybe yeah. a maybe a one woman show where it's the gay guy in drag <laughs> and the story of that woman. It could be fun. <laughs> that could be. That could be really fun. Yeah, yeah. that could be really something. Yeah, that could yeah. be really fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe a novel. Mm. No. Uh, who's reading anymore? Say that. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Well, All that right. sounds amazing. I think that sounds. Thanks really for good. that advice. Yeah. 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 Um, do we have anything else we want to say about um women? Macy, vote. <laughs> yeah. Because guess what? Our rights are depending on it. It's true. Not just women's rights. Men. Although rights. women's <laughs> rights are wrapped into. <laughs> Men's rights. <laughs> women's rights are human rights. And so if you want to keep your men's rights, mm. you should start caring about women's rights. And exactly. that's, that's, a, that's, and that's the only reason. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> wow. And that's on democracy, honey. Honey. <laughs> Mauma. <laughs> um, well. No one has ever said a honey before. <laughs> We need to start doing that again. I love when we say Mauma. 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 Oh, like the <laughs> spelling. It, like rather than Mama. Yeah. Mauma. I say Mauma. Mauma. <laughs> it's like I have a friend, John Koblen, was like, oh. Padam Padam was on, and he was like, in a sort of New Jersey accent, was like, oh, is this Padam Padam? <laughs> Padam Padam. <laughs> um, I mean, should we do our final yeah. segment? Yeah. Please take the reins on this one. <laughs> So uh, fans will know that um, we always end our show with a little segment called Shout Outs, which is an homage to straight culture. But this ain't Stradio Lab, sweetheart. This is iHeart Presents Big Money Players Presents Stradio Lab Presents Gay Deal Lab. <laughs> and um, so today, instead of Shout Outs, we will be paying homage to the great gay tradition and doing branded content from a queer creator. Mm-hmm. 
um, okay. which so, is an amazing um, new segment. Okay, so we are doing, uh, yeah, we're each doing a branded segment where we promote a, a queer product. Yeah, or any product we're enjoying. Any product we're enjoying. Okay. But doing it in a queer way. In a queer way. Okay. Do you I'll go start. First? Great. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, hey my LGBTQ plus fam, How, hope you're enjoying Pride. You know, for me, Pride is all about getting together and it's all about having fun, but it's also all about energy. And I get my energy from Starbucks drinks. I went to a Starbucks today in Midtown Manhattan and I saw teens coming of age and I needed a cold brew because I said, honey, I don't have that energy anymore that you, teen, that you, you kids have. But you know what, what does give me that energy? A cold brew. I am jittery, I am shaking, I am unable to form sentences. And I am feeling so LGBTQ and so me. And I love Starbucks and I love my community aka chosen family Ooh. all Starbucks employees XOXO Sam wow I thought we were sort of launching new products but I think both can work I mean uh, well I think if you want to launch a product I'm, la I'm, I'm part of the first round of influencers that was contacted to promote a new product <laughs> see I was partnering with Starbucks you but if you're launching I like that it was I'm just Starbucks in general yeah, yeah. <laughs> well I'm partnering with Starbucks this yeah. pride <laughs> well they just cancelled their actual pride campaign and now they're doing it only through queer podcast so yeah. that like no other people see it. right 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 we don't Which have to know a a straight way. people don't have to know that Sam yeah. likes Starbucks yeah, yeah, yeah. um hi little kittens um this is George uh the co-host of the podcast Radio Lab and of course the writer of my queer newsletter where I talk about you know pop culture and other things that we all care about it's called my way sis <laughs> And I'm here to promote a brand new pharmaceutical product, the oh. Q-Pill. It's a pill for LGBTQ plus identified people that don't have a mental illness, but something feels off. And basically, you wake up every day, you take 14 pills, mm. and then you feel sort of balanced for the rest of the day. So easy. It's nonspecific. It can cure things like... You know, slight anxiety from having to meet a deadline. Um, things like, uh oh, it's been five days since you replied to that email, but you still are not sure what to say. Things like, honey, where did I put my phone? Things so like, true. things like, who's that guy on Grinder, and have I hooked up with him before? Um, things like, oh, there's a line at the big pride party. Just pop in those 14 Q pills and you are good to go. Your eyes will be glazed over and you'll be ready to dance the night away slowly and gracefully. Oh, wow. So, yeah, um, just to be clear, don't ask your doctor about it and just go to the website qpill.com.biz slash Stradiolab promotion to get, 10 off. To get 2% off. <laughs> and it's not covered by any insurance. No. God, no. All right. All right. Not that you have it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, Macy, you can either launch your own product or partner with an existing one. Well, I, I, it is a new product by some brands that you might be familiar with. Oh. Um, it's a collab between myself, Taco Bell, and Ozempic. Oh, oh my God. God. Fun. Amazing. And uh, the, one of the big drawbacks of Ozempic is that it's a shot, mm -hmm. and you don't really eat on it. Yeah. And so that's kind of boring you know eating is fun it's an american pastime that's what i always say it's culture yeah and so with this it's a butt plug Ooh. oh yeah <laughs> and so you you go you can get it at any taco bell if they've got tons of them and basically the butt plug you put it in you press the button it basically shoots out little needles into your <laughs> <laughs> oh rectum, That's really and that delivers the Ozempic. And oh. this this formulation kind of works in a slightly different way. You can shovel the the food in. You you have a huge appetite. You actually have a heartier appetite. Mm. But it looks kind of like a microphone at the end, like it's got little holes. And what it does is when your the food goes in, uh -huh. it travels through the butt plug and is uh, it comes out as like a perfume of your as choice. A spray. Oh, it's, oh, a, it's hey. also with scentbird. Wow. And so it's a really innovative product. We're really proud of it. Um, I'm using it right now. Wow. Um, and I can smell, I'm getting sandalwood. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 It's very summery. Yes. Very summery. Yes, yes, yes.
They've got a whole it's array. Su- summer campfire, I would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the Margella. <laughs> yes, it's yes. the Margella. Yes. It's woodsy but feminine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's so amazing. Um, it's crazy. Um, I love that we have the Ozempic, Taco Bell, yeah. Scentford, um, the Q Pill, and of course Starbucks. Yeah. Well, all of them. <laughs> 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 Um, I do want to say you can't do the Ozempic butt plug while on Q pills because it will lead to immediate death, <laughs> violent death, where you will explode from the inside. Oh, okay. Ass first. <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, I kind of glazed over the fine print. But that's totally, you know, it's like whatever. And they're both, you know, great products, and some yeah. people prefer one, and some people prefer the it's other. It's true. Luckily, you can drink Starbucks no matter what you put in your mouth or butthole. Yeah. Actually, you should. You should. <laughs> the, the Ozempic thing doesn't start working until, until you, start. you have Starbucks. <laughs> it's Starbucks activated. Until you have a vanilla yeah. macchiato. Exactly. It won't be activated. Which is <laughs> weird activated. because it's it's Taco Bell. Yeah. But, you know. They're, well, they're so, all owned by the same. They're all owned yeah. by uh, iHeartMedia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, this has been an amazing episode. Yeah. I could not agree more. I'm... Well, I'm, I'm fearful of it to come out, but I have. I feel like this is exactly what I wanted today. You know, when wow. I came in and I was like, I want this to be improv. I want it to be we tell ourselves stories in order to live. Honey, I'm living. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I think people will clock my big pause up top, and and no, no, no we're I gotta we're say, edit it out. <laughs> I gotta say, I came into this being like, oh, wow, I'm gonna do a podcast today. Yeah, and look at us now. We look did it. Now. <laughs> and all thanks to the. Winner of the complex woman pageant, Macy, Macy Rodman. Rodman. Congratulations, Congratulations Macy. Macy. You beat Lydia Tarr. <laughs> Chandelier plays in the background. <laughs> Barbara Bush is crying, <laughs> stabbing herself in the eye. She's like, Why did I do it? Why did I do it? I mean, Why complex? did I do it? <laughs> Oh my God! Well, All right. Well, well, see you at next year's awards. Yeah, get tickets to the event. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a really complicated process. You have to download a new app. It's a complex process. It's a complex process for complex women. Okay. Bye. 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 That was so much fun. That was so fun.